What are the causes of wildlife depletion? Wildlife depletion refers to the reduction in the populations of wild animal and plant species, often to dangerously low or even extinct levels. This phenomenon is influenced by a range of human-driven and natural factors. Here are some of the most common causes. 1. Habitat loss and degradation, deforestation and land conversion. The clearing of forests for agriculture, urban development and infrastructure reduces or completely destroys the natural habitats where wildlife can thrive. Wetland drainage. Wetlands are important for many bird, fish, and amphibian species. Draining them for farmland or construction significantly disrupts breeding grounds. Fragmentation, even when habitats aren't fully cleared, roads, fences, and other human constructions split them into isolated fragments. This separation can hinder migration, breeding, and access to resources. 2. Overexploitation, overhunting, and poaching. Targeting specific wildlife for food, trade, for example, ivory fur, or as trophies, causes many species to decline rapidly. Poaching can be especially devastating for species already in low numbers. Overfishing, excessive harvesting of fish and other marine life, such as crustaceans and mollusks, can collapse entire aquatic ecosystems and disrupt the balance between predator and prey populations. Illegal wildlife trade. The global market for exotic pets, medicinal ingredients, and luxury goods fuels unlawful capture and killing of many species, pushing some toward extinction. 3. Pollution, chemical pollution. Industrial discharge, pesticides, and fertilizers can poison soil and water sources, affecting both terrestrial and aquatic wildlife. Plastic and marine debris. Plastic waste in oceans and waterways leads to ingestion and entanglement of marine animals. Seabirds, turtles, and marine mammals are especially vulnerable. Air pollution. Acid rain caused by pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides can harm plants, aquatic life, and soil quality, indirectly affecting wildlife health and survival. 4. Climate change. Temperature shifts. Rapid changes in temperature can disrupt migration patterns, breeding cycles, and food availability. Cold adapted species, like polar bears, are particularly affected by melting sea ice. Extreme weather events, more frequent and severe storms, droughts, and heat waves can destroy habitats and reduce food and water sources for wildlife. Ocean acidification. Increased carbon dioxide absorption in oceans affects marine organisms, particularly those with calcium carbonate shells or skeletons, for example, corals, shellfish. Coral reef damage cascades to affect countless reef-dependent species. 5. Introduction of invasive species. Competition. Non-native animals and plants can outcompete local wildlife for food and habitat space. Predation. Some invasive species may prey on native species that have not evolved defenses against them. Disease transmission. Invasive species can carry diseases to which native wildlife has no resistance, causing population declines. 6. Diseases and parasites. Pathogen spread. Human activity, including global trade and habitat fragmentation, can accelerate the spread of pathogens, for example, chytrid fungus in amphibians, white nose syndrome in bats. Weakened populations. When wildlife populations are already stressed by other factors, like habitat loss or pollution, they're more susceptible to disease outbreaks that can further diminish numbers. 7. Human-Wildlife Conflict Resource Competition As human populations expand, wild animals may be killed or displaced when they compete for crops, livestock, or living space. Infrastructure and Traffic 
roads and railways fragment habitats and cause direct mortality through collisions with vehicles. 8. Sociopolitical factors. Lack of conservation policies. Inadequate or poorly enforced wildlife protection laws allow illegal hunting, trade, and habitat destruction to continue unchecked. Poverty and economic pressures. In regions with limited economic opportunities, wildlife may be exploited for short-term gain, for example, bushmeat trade, due to immediate financial necessity. Habitat loss is often cited as the primary cause of wildlife depletion worldwide. Over-exploitation through hunting, fishing, and trade continues to drive numerous species toward extinction. Pollution and climate change exacerbate existing pressures on wildlife by altering or degrading their environments in ways they cannot adapt to quickly. Invasive species and diseases can act as powerful stressors, especially in ecosystems already dealing with human impacts. Conservation efforts must address multiple factors protecting habitats, enforcing wildlife laws, promoting sustainable use of resources, and engaging local communities to be successful. By understanding and addressing these root causes, policymakers, conservationists, and the public can work together to protect and restore wildlife populations across the globe. Protect wildlife today. We're at a critical moment. Every small step counts towards saving our planet's incredible species. If you learned something new or feel inspired to make a difference, hit the like button to spread this message. Subscribe for more videos about conservation and how you can help. Comment below with your thoughts what wildlife cause matters most to you. Together, we can be the voice for the voiceless. Let's create a future where humans and wildlife thrive side by side.